Spirit of Matthew Award recognizes a young person or an organization that embodies the spirit of Matt. Kindness, forward thinking, and advocating for his peers. Youth who demonstrate a profound personal commitment to social justice, equal rights, and activism while showing the same passion to desire a more caring and just world. Just like Matt. The 2023 Spirit of Matthew Award honoree is the Be a Friend Project. Yes, give them a round of applause. You're about to learn why you're giving them a round of applause, that it is truly a remarkable story. Established in 2015, the Be a Friend Project was inspired by the debut junior cast of It's Easy, the French Strong Musical, which asked playwrights uh, Jennifer Young and composer January Axelrad for a way to carry into action the speak up, reach out, and be a friend message of their middle school show. And at its inception, the Be A Friend Project was synonymous uh, with its signature friend mail program, which delivers letters of peer support to victims of severe bullying to let them know that they are not alone and to help them stay strong. Currently, an average of 60 educators and 1,200 students across 30 states participate in this program each and every day. Yes, yes. In 2019, the A Friend Project became a national nonprofit organization with its mission of supporting student upstanders in their effort to save lives of their bullied peers and build kinder communities using empathy, education, peer support, and the arts. I have to tell you, we were so proud last year to honor this organization at our 20 year anniversary. Talk to these people, understand what they're doing for bullied kids around the country, to give them hope, to give them support. It is absolutely incredible. So please join us in welcoming to the stage, Jennifer Young, Executive Director of the Via Friend Project and the 2023 Spirit of Matthew Honoree. Judy and Dennis, whom I revere, representing the Be A Friend Project, which is my part, um, and accepting this award on behalf of the upstanders who are receiving this honor because they have shown themselves to embody what Matthew stood for in life. I mean, I just don't know how to hold that much pride and hope. Uh, and when they're waving to me. Uh, usually when I speak about the mission of the Be A Friend Project, I go into the statistics surrounding bullying because I want to open people's eyes that such purposeful cruelty is never just kids being kids. The most heartbreaking of those stats being that on average, six children every day in the USA are dying by suicide related to bullying and that bullying is a factor in most school shootings. Um, but this is one audience where I know I don't need to focus on the statistics or point out that LGBTQ plus kids face a heartbreaking and disproportionately uh, disproportionate percentage of that bullying because no one here needs their eyes opened up to what hate can do. Um, so I want to talk about what kindness can do and about our upstanders who've earned this award. Uh, they truly are the boots on the ground because we all know bullying happens where most adults are not and that the best way to stop a bully is for a member of their friend group to tell them to stop. So my passion and that of our parents and our educators uh, across the country is to make sure the student throwing kindness in the game of life gets the same fanfare 
and frontline supporter as the high school quarterback throwing a touchdown at the homecoming game. So this Sierra Matthew Award is helping us do that uh, already. Uh, it has opened doors of support for these upstander kids and their personal missions to create a more caring and just world. For a student involved in our organization, uh, we provide kindness initiatives such as our school and community-based kindness clubs and our signature friend mail program, which you already just heard about, that uh, delivers peer support from kids in kindergarten through college uh, to bully kids across the country to help them stay strong and know they're not alone. Um, the beauty of that program is that for every one bully child we feature, there's about 2,000 of their peers getting the chance to practice empathy. So, and the greater a child's capacity to empathize, the least likely they are to bully. Um, the pinnacle role at the project for a student is to be peer selected to join the National Teen Kindness Board, which helps to guide our programming and gives a place of belonging for like-minded teens to exchange ideas. Um, selection is based on self-motivated acts of kindness and bullying prevention activism in their communities. And I'm thrilled to say that three of the currently 14 active members of uh, what we call the TKB uh, are here tonight um, to stand up with us. to acknowledge the first and so far uh, only chair of our Teen Kindness Board because I am pretty sure he's here too. Um, I cry. One of the first things people say about Aiden Duver, aside from his being kind and a talented performer, is that he was a talker. He loved shooting the breeze with people, apparently a lot like Matthew. Um, Aiden passed away on May 24th. Uh, after a two-year battle with cancer, he was 18, and his mom, Amy, is my guest here tonight. Three weeks, <clears throat> three weeks before Aiden died, he recorded for me what he wanted people to know about this organization that he helped to guide, and he still does. Uh, one thing he said he wanted audiences to take away is that this organization isn't just a bunch of adults running around making their kid, kids send support to victims of bullying. And I try really hard not to run around doing that stuff. But and as I quote to him, he said it's about peer support. Um, it's about kids for kids, for teaching empathy and just how to make the world a little bit brighter. When Aiden was elected to be the team board's chair, he told me it made his life. I know he felt the same about speaking and performing at the NGLCC's anniversary dinner in DC last November where he got to meet Judy and Dennis. And I know he felt the same too when he learned about the Spirit of Matthew Award because you choosing us meant his lifetime passion and purpose had made an impact. So, and I, I do have this vision tonight of the spirits of Aiden and Matthew chatting up a storm together. <laughs> You know, in some celestial skybox. <laughs> Sharing thoughts on the event and just being so incredibly proud of their parents. And I have so much more to tell you, but I, I, I feel like a big hook's gonna come and drag me off stage. So I just, I wanna end with a reflection from a student impact survey we implemented last year at a school in New York, um, where participation in the friend mail program is school-wide and monthly and has been since 2017. We asked the elementary students to share their thoughts on being an ambassador after an entire school year. A fourth grader named Audrey Schwartz wrote, I love it because you can make someone's day and show them love. If they see it enough love, the hate will cease. That's It's a 
fourth grader. If they see enough love, the hate will cease. So Judy and Dennis, you are the love that they are seeing. And all of you at the Matthew Shepherd Foundation and here tonight are the love that they are seeing. I'm so grateful for your visibility and for never giving up. This award is the most powerful validation to our upstanders that they have been seen and that they too are the love that will stop the hate. So thank you. Vice President of Purpose Driven Marketing at Marriott International and Colorado State Representative.